Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover types of slopes. We will go through the types together, and then you'll try some practice problems on your own. Now remember, slope measures the steepness of a line. So how much it moves up or down as it moves from left to right. Let's jump into number one, where we have a line moving upward as it's moving from left to right. So there is positive vertical change from left to right. So again, this line is moving upward. The Y values are increasing as the X values are increasing. This is an example of a positive slope. So again, this is a positive slope. And that's our first type of slope that we're going to go over. Now let's find the slope of this line. Remember, slope equals rise over run, the vertical change over the horizontal change. So when finding slope, we use any two points on a line and see how far up and over we go. We are going to use these two points right here. And we're going to work from the left point to the right point. Let's start with the rise, the vertical change. So we go up one unit, two units, three units, and now we are aligned with the other point. So our rise is three, and that's a positive three because we went up. Now we need the run, the horizontal change. We go over one unit, two units, and we are at the other point. So our run is two, and that's a positive two since we went to the right. So we can write our slope as m equals, and remember, we can use m to represent slope. So m equals our rise of three over our run of two. So the slope of this line is three over two three halves. So again, our first type of slope here, positive slope. Moving on to number two, we have a line moving downward as it's moving from left to right. So there is negative vertical change from left to right. So again, this line is moving downward. The Y values are decreasing as the X values are increasing. This is an example of a negative slope. So negative slope. And now let's find the slope of this line. Here are our two points that we're going to use. So we need the rise and the run now. We will go from the left point to the right point. We'll start with the rise. And here we need to go down in order to align with the other point. We need to go down one unit. Now, since we went down, our rise is negative one. Now for the run, we go over one unit, two units, three units, four units to get to the other point. So our run is four, and this is a positive four since we went to the right. So our slope equals our rise of negative one over our run of four. So our slope is negative one fourth. So for number two, our second type of slope, negative slope. Now you'll notice the difference between number one and number two, the difference between positive slope and negative slope. Positive slope moves upward from left to right and negative slope moves downward. Let's move on to number three, where we have a horizontal line. So there's no vertical change here at all. The line isn't moving upward or downward, just straight across. The Y values stay the same as the X values increase. This is an example of a slope of zero. So slope of zero. Any horizontal line has a slope of zero. In terms of rise over run here, let's look at our two points. So this point and this point. Let's start with the rise. What's the vertical change here? 
Well, zero. There isn't any vertical change between these two points. So the rise is zero. And then for the run, we move over one unit to get to the other point. So our run is one here. Slope equals the rise of zero over the run of one. So our slope is zero over one, which this is just equal to zero. So our third type of slope, slope of zero. Again, any horizontal line has a slope of zero. Lastly, moving on to number four, we have a vertical line. So there's vertical change, but no horizontal change here. No movement left or right at all. The Y values are changing, but the X values stay the same. This is what we call an undefined slope. So undefined slope. And here's why. Let's look at our two points. So this point and this point. We will start at the bottom point and work our way up to the top point to find our rise and run. As far as our rise, we move up one unit. So the rise is one. Now for the run. So how far over do we go? Well, we don't have horizontal change here. So our run is zero. Slope equals our rise of one over our run of zero. So we have one over zero here for our slope, which whenever we have a fraction with a denominator of zero, we have something that is undefined because we are dividing by zero and we can't divide by zero. So since the run, the denominator is zero, this is undefined. The slope of any vertical line is undefined. So our last type of slope here, undefined slope. So there you have it. There are the four types of slope. Time for you to try some practice problems on your own. So have paper and a pencil ready. Here are your practice problems. For numbers one through four, you have matching. Match the type of slope to the correct line. For numbers five and six, tell whether it's a positive or negative slope, and then find the slope from the graph by counting units. Remember, rise over run. I'll give you two minutes and then we will go over the answers. Go ahead and start. Okay, so that was two minutes. Let's go over the answers. 
For number one, you should have C. For number two, A. For number three, D. And for number four, B. For number five, that is a positive slope. And the slope equals five over four, five fourths. Rise of five, run of four. And then lastly, for number six, that's a negative slope. And the slope is negative two over three, negative two thirds. Rise of negative two and run of three. So there you have it. There are the types of slopes. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.